So in this video, I'll explain the seven reasons why you should not use ConvertKit. I will also tell you the seven reasons why you should use ConvertKit. So let's dive in. First, let's start with the seven reasons why you should not use ConvertKit. Reason number one, don't blindly choose ConvertKit because you fall under the umbrella of being a creator. So for example, a blogger, podcaster, YouTuber, etc. So as you may or may not know, ConvertKit positions itself heavily as the number one email marketing platform for creators and especially on Twitter. So every so-called creator uses ConvertKit. I just want to ensure you understand that other email tools have similar features for less money and there are also email tools with more and better features for more money so if you're choosing convertkit because you're a creator i suggest you dig deeper and find out what features you really need in your business reason number two don't use convertkit because you see others you look up to using them so the tweet you see here on the screen is from the popular youtuber ali abdal so ali abdal mentions in his tweet that convertkit is one of the best email tools for for online creators, if not the best. So he elaborates this by saying, in an instant, we could create our own branded template, segment our audience, and create custom email flows and automation. So this tweet confirms that they didn't test many email tools because nine out of 10 can do what they just mentioned. So in the following tweet, he writes, if you want to start, but you're not sure which platform to choose, here's a simple way to decide. Yes, choose ConvertKit, no, choose Substack. Like, come on, there are dozens of email marketing tools and not only Substack and ConvertKit. So this again proves my point. Don't blindly follow the advice of someone if they don't follow up with real evidence. Reason number three, ConvertKit is relatively expensive. So ConvertKit isn't my first choice if you're on a budget. There are other email marketing tools that are cheaper that offer similar features. So especially when you're starting or if you don't have high profit margins in your business, saving a few hundreds to thousands of dollars annually by choosing a cheaper tool is an intelligent business decision in my opinion. And you can check my website creatorrack.com for more affordable alternatives. Reason number four, ConvertKit doesn't have the best free plan. So ConvertKit doesn't offer email automation in its free plan while others do. Of course, as with all reasons I mentioned in this video of not choosing ConvertKit, it all comes down to your unique needs. So this particular reason doesn't apply to your situation if you don't even want to use email automation. Anyhow, I curated a list of the best free email tools and you can find this list on my website, creatorrack.com if you wanna check it out. Reason number five, ConvertKit doesn't offer the most advanced newsletter editor or templates. So out of most email marketing tools, Convert ConvertKit is the one that has the least options regarding its newsletter editor. Reason number six, limited customization options for landing pages and forms. So don't get me wrong, ConvertKit has one of the most user-friendly builders. You can quickly create a form, pop-up or landing page with ConvertKit. So the downside, however, is that you shouldn't expect to be able to change many aspects of the landing page or form or pop-up. And last but not least, reason number seven why you should not choose ConvertKit ConvertKit has limited reporting features. So it lacks giving great insights into my email sending analytics for newsletters and automations. So broadcasts and automations. So the analytics of the forms and landing pages isn't great either. So there are other email marketing tools that offer way better reporting features if that is really important to you. So in the next part of this video, we'll dive into the seven reasons why you should choose ConvertKit. And if I have helped you in any way, please use my affiliate link. You can find that one down below in the description when signing up for ConvertKit. So reason number one, why you should use ConvertKit. So ConvertKit is the most user-friendly and easy to use email marketing tool. So keep in mind, this isn't some unproven statement. So I spent weeks, months testing all the most popular email tools. So I've published thousands of words on my website, reviewing all the popular email tools. And I can conclude that ConvertKit is the most user-friendly email tool. So reason number two, unlimited 
email sending. So ConvertKit offers unlimited email sending on all plans, no matter the number of subscribers in your account. So if you're sending a newsletter daily or multiple times per week, ConvertKit might be your best option. So reason number three, ConvertKit allows you to use Liquid for dynamic content. So with ConvertKit, you can send dynamic emails since it allows you to use Liquid while writing your email. So Liquid is an open source template language from Shopify. So reason number four, ConvertKit offers you to create unlimited landing pages, forms and pop-ups. So some tools only allow one form, so like MailChimp, for example, or some don't even support pop-ups like Send in Blue. Fortunately, ConvertKit has no limitations and offers unlimited landing pages, forms and pop-ups. So reason number five, multiple GDPR options. So the GDPR and the UK GDPR are regulations for data privacy. Simply put, you must have received consent before legally sending a subscriber an email. ConvertKit offers you two options to help you receive this consent from new subscribers. So reason number six, live chat support. So ConvertKit doesn't offer support to its free plan users, but still all its paid plan users have access to live chat support, which is mandatory in my opinion when setting up your email marketing plan because you will run into issues guaranteed. So reason number seven, ConvertKit sponsor network. So the sponsor network finds and places sponsorships in your newsletter. Other email tools don't offer this, but do note you need to have at least 10,000 subscribers to apply for this program and you must publish weekly newsletters newsletters and ConvertKit takes a 23.5% cut from the payments received. Please use my affiliate link when signing up and before you go make sure to check out these two videos you can see here on the screen right now. In one of them I'll go over the best email marketing software tools and in the other one I show you how ConvertKit works. In other words this is my ConvertKit video tutorial. Thanks for watching see you next time bye bye.